was sort of looking back doing my, my old school CUNML research and I, I read an article that uh, a friend of mine wrote on you and you asked some people in private practice for some advice. And they gave you some advice including sleep. I'm curious if, uh, what, if any other advice uh, paid off as, as your journey on your You own. know, I took that advice for like the first year. I would dutifully nap during my lunch hour and now whenever the show is done there will be a period of time where I will just disappear. You won't see me, you won't hear from me. I will be getting as much sleep as humanly possible while still having a small child. What does it mean to you to, to be here five years in, you know, the lead of a show, your dream realized, happy guy? Yeah, it means, it means a lot. You know, I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate and, and lucky. Um, I don't write the scripts, I don't build the sets, I don't pre the fights. You know, I don't do so much of the stuff that, uh, you know, that makes the show what it is. I just show up on the day and make sure that I know my lines. So I'm an incredibly fortunate person to have such a wonderful support group around me. Mark Guggenheim told me that he doesn't get emotional, he doesn't cry, but he, he choked up during the scene you have in the, uh, in the 100. Tell us about it. You know, I've, I haven't seen it. I've heard rumors about this scene. There's a, there's a, there's a few times where where real life and the show intermingle, and uh, one of them happens in one of them happens in the crossover. It was really it was something. Lastly, um, I wanted to ask you if you're enjoying wearing the suits this season. Taking home any ties? Uh, I do enjoy wearing suits. I, I like going for the casual look. Like I would unbutton my suit, my tie right now. If, you know, it wasn't on a red carpet. So I always like finding Oliver in like the wearing a suit, but also in the semi-casual look.